G'day guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a new local user when you try to disjoin Azure AD from Windows 10 and you don't know the local user account. So basically this will happen when you go here and go to system um, about disconnect from organization and you'll see it's asking you blah 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 enter your sign in info for the local administrator account this may be a Microsoft account or a local account. If you don't have one, you'll need to create one. So if I go user, and it tells me this account info didn't work. Make sure you're entering info for a local administrator account and try again. So what you can do is if you actually right click on the start button and go to computer management, then navigate to local users and groups and expand out users. And as you'll see, there's no actual local administrator user. These are all disabled. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is create a new user. And I'm just gonna call it user. And so I don't want it to change. I want the password never to expire. And the account is, make sure the account is not disabled. So create that user. Then you'll see that the user pops up there. The username's user then you're going to want to add it to the administrators group. So if we add user in here, and you see that is the computer name, check name, good. Apply. So now when you disconnect, you should be able to call it user. Hit OK, and it will actually disconnect you from your organization's Azure Active Directory domain or tenant, I guess. So once you restart, So now, as you see, I've logged, like it, the computer's finished rebooting and it's got the username user. And remember before I did not set a password, so I should just be able to hit this button and it'll say welcome and it'll create me the user account for the user named user. So now we've logged in and you'll be able to see in settings that we're no longer under the um, Azure AD account. So system about and it's got the button there join to a domain or join Azure AD. So anyway this was how to create this video showed you how to create a local user when trying to disjoin an Azure AD domain, which sometimes the user, like in this case, just disappeared. I don't know if Azure Active Directory has something to do with that, or if it was just a glitch, or if it removes it, because in other times I've done it, it didn't remove the local user. It was still there, but in this time it did remove the local user. So we've been able to create a local user using local users and groups and then 
disjoin the Azure AD domain and go back to just a non-domain joined computer. So anyway, don't forget, like, subscribe. If you have any videos that you want me to make, just leave a comment below and I'll um, get back to you. Or if you have any questions, leave a comment. Anyway, I'll talk to you again soon. See ya.